Hello everyone and welcome to another GTA Online discussion video and in this video I'm going to be talking about the, the festive update that we've just had with all the Christmas stuff um, and I think it is one of the better updates that we've probably ever had for GTA Online but before I go into that I do want to just make a, make a small point in, and that is just please for the love of God be a little bit patient um, I mentioned in the previous video about the, the Teb upgrade that I will be getting around to testing the new cars but you're going to have to be a little bit patient, um, you know, and, and people still left me lots of comments saying test the new cars, when are you testing the new cars? You know, I know that you guys want to see how the new cars do, obviously specifically the racing uh, liveried cars, but also the old stuff, the, the Dukes and the Stallion. I am going to be testing everything, I'm going to be testing everything for you guys to see how they do. But you, you need to be a little bit patient. I'm, I'm one man. I can't just do it all instantly. Um, I, I actually, I was at work. I, I have a job, you know. I was at work on, on the day that the update came out. I spent all the night once I'd got in from work making the video that you guys saw. Uh, and and I've, I've been at work again all the, the next day. So the, I just can't do it instantly. You know, I can't bring you guys the, the information that you want as soon as you want it. You can either have it done quickly or you can have it done properly and I'm always going to be doing it properly so you are going to have to wait uh, and I, I hope that you guys can do that. I know every, I know that's not everybody, I know a lot of people uh, can be patient but it's just to those of you who do actually uh, leave comments like that just try and, try and show a little bit of patience please. Um, I will be giving you the information, I will be testing all the brand new cars and you'll see a brand new series with all, the, all of the stuff in but just wait a little bit. It won't be long, but just show a little bit of patience, please, for my own sanity. Um, so, yeah, you know, uh, the, the festive update, is this the best update that we've had so far? I, I'm, I'm leaning towards that it is. It, it, there's so many things with it. I mean, one of the bigger ones that I think kind of went a little bit unnoticed with, with the new cars and all the Christmas stuff, kind of the bigger changes is that we can now have three garages and that is amazing, you know, now we can have up to 30 cars. Uh, I was just I was just starting to need an extra garage really, you know, there were, there were a few cars that I wanted um, and I really, I really could have done with an extra 10 slots and now we can have that, we can have three garages, we can have 30 cars and that's absolutely fantastic, I, I'm really enjoying that, hopefully they'll add more in the future as well. Uh, but yeah, that that's a great change. Um, it, it it's also nice to see that they they are still focusing on a lot of the the Christmas stuff. You know, I mean, the last year, yeah, we got some Christmas clothes and the, there was snow on Christmas Day. But now they've seemed to have gone for it even even more so and done a lot more on it. And and that's great to see. You know, although I I know that everyone who who plays GTA, not everyone will maybe support uh, maybe. Uh, celebrate Christmas, but it, it's just uh, nice to know that they're still doing uh, still doing things like this uh, at, at this time of the year. So yeah, it, it's 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 going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see what the game's like when it snows. It, it may already have snowed by the time this video goes up, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it, it should be cool to do snowball fights and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and whatever the Christmas Day gift is going to be, that should be quite fun. And also the new weapons as well, you know, the, the homing missile, I haven't even tested out, you know, this is how busy I've been with work and stuff, I haven't tested out or looked at any of the new stuff apart from the new cars, um, and I, I kind of miss just playing the game, uh, so yeah, I, I still need to do that, but the homing missile looks amazing, uh, and, and the proximity mines look really cool as well, it, it's been one of those updates, I, I would say, I would, I would probably put this update maybe second out of all of them after the high life update i think the high life update was probably the best um the high life update for me was the best and then it used to be the business update after that uh but i think this would probably go in between those uh, and yeah i really i really uh, i really like what they've done and it's nice to see that with the liveried version of the massacre and the jester that they have that they've sort of focused a little bit on the racing community and and acknowledged it, its existence you know, we we hadn't had anything to do with racing really in terms of uh, in terms of updates, and it, it it's just maybe a little bit of a nod to the racing community with with proper race variations of cars. Maybe we'll see some more in the future as well. Uh, but yeah, someone actually left a comment on the on one of my video on the previous video, uh, saying that maybe the the massacre comes by default with uh, with an orange paint scheme 
and black rims because uh, as a sort of nod to myself and a thank you for the turbo uh, the turbo thing but uh, yeah that that whilst that's a, that is a bit of a nice uh, a nice idea obviously orange is the color of all my race cars and they all have black rims as well um, whilst that is a nice idea i think that's probably more coincidence than anything else but it's it's nice to think that way anyway uh, obviously the massacro being my main sort of sports car and for those of you who ask, you know, although the LG is quicker than it, I just prefer the driving style of the Massacro. That's why I use it a lot more. In this race, I'm obviously using a Jester, but that, that was just for a bit of fun. And this was before the turbo was fixed as well. Uh, and this is also the sort of the new version of the North Loop with a bit of a different uh, different start line configuration. But I'll be re releasing a video on that soon as well. So I've got so many videos that I need to make, so many projects that I want to do. Uh, it, it's very difficult to fit it all in. And this, this festive update did come as a little bit of a surprise, caught me off guard a little bit. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, work hard and bring you guys a lot of videos on it so yeah it is nice to see a little bit of a nod to the racing community with those race specific variations of cars hopefully they'll they'll be similar in pace and maybe we'll see some uh, race variations of other cars that sort of boost them and make them similar uh, so we've got a, a lot of cars all on the same pace uh, that are all race variations that would be cool to see um, but it would also be cool to see the uh, the the sort of more more maybe a racing update would be cool as well you know with with clothes like racing suits and helmets and things like that proper uh proper stuff it would it would be nice to have a, a proper racing update maybe they include uh some more racing related props yeah it, i think that's probably that would be my highest highest on the list of my most requested uh features a proper racing update uh with with maybe some different class systems as well and things like that uh, but yeah, it would it would be nice to see that. But uh, we'll we'll see what they do in the future. But it is just nice to have some uh, some proper racing cars that we can actually uh, that we can actually use. Um, I will give you a little. Obviously, we don't know how quick the new race cars are uh, it, based on the testing that I've done. But from what I've seen, it does seem like the the new Masakro is slightly quicker than the new than the old Masakro. And it seems like obviously the new Jester is slightly quicker than the old Jester. Again, it remains to be seen how they do on the, on my testing track and how well they, they perform overall. But you know, in general, it does seem like the racing variations are a little bit quicker. And as I said, you know, it would be nice to see racing variations of other cars as well that are all a little bit quicker, but put them all on a level playing field. So you know, having a, a race variation of the Comet that was the same speed as the race variation of the Massacre would be quite cool. Uh, so we could use a lot of different cars but we'll see what they do with that it could be interesting to see um but yeah i just wanted to say you know i really i'm really uh excited about this update it should be bringing a lot of stuff over the holiday period uh the snow i'm really looking forward to it the snow I, I absolutely adore snow um so i can't wait to play play gta with that uh the north loop hopefully will look really good in in, in the snow but uh, yeah, just I just wanted to say, you know, I, I'm really I'm really happy about this update. It's for me one of the best uh, that we've had so far, and I want to obviously hear your guys' opinions on it as well. What do you guys think about the update? Do you uh, do you in, do you think it's one of the best, or are you a bit underwhelmed by it? You know, just let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. And yeah, that's all I really wanted to do with this video. Just have a little bit of a talk about it, and obviously with the discussion series, I always want to hear your guys' opinions as well. So let me know down down below. Uh, and yeah, just uh, also just to let you know that I am working on all the cars. Uh, I will be bringing out the the new tests for all of the cars in the game. So just. Show a little bit of patience, please, for my own sanity. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.